Mbappe World Cup final hat trick score. What a final that was. Have to draw Mbappe now. What a performance from him. Great performance from Messi as well. It's a shame it went to penalties. I, I don't like it when it goes to penalties. I know it's like real dramatic and everything, but I, I prefer like open play victories. But uh, great final. Anyway, landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. We're going to start with his eyes. If you want to do construction like, you know, the oval with the lines down the middle, you can do that and then follow the details. But I'm just going to start with the details and the eyes. Center point here, up over to the right. Real sort of small slender eyes, right? So, yeah, basic. We go up. It's kind of just curves over. Real thin eyes right so curves over like this and you can add some eyelashes at the end kind of thing like that right so they're kind of long and thin eyes so we've got his tear duct in here and this will go down across and back up to there right And then we can see his iris and his pupil inside. Well, we can't actually see his pupil. We can just see his iris. But he seems to have just dark eyes, right? Like that. So what you can do then is add some highlights, right? So you just draw like a circle there. Maybe another one just here. And you color around these black. Okay, now, so he does, I'm pretty sure he does have brown eyes, but they're like really, really dark brown, so you can't see the pupil inside. If you want to color them brown, you can. Another way of doing a highlight is getting some white paint or Tipex or something like that and just adding a dot, you know, another way of doing it. And we'll add his tear duct there. All right, so then we could have some like eyelash lines just on the bottom of his eye like just these tiny little dashes and dots and stuff just coming down from here right very few and then we have an eyelid line on top so this like comes out from here it's very thin comes across the top of his eye down the back there. Just like eyelid skin. And then the bottom of his eye is just lightly sort of drawn in here. Okay. And so we go up and we have eyebrows, right? So just above the eye on the inside here, you have like just these sort of hairlines here and then the eyebrow will go across and then just down like that. And then it'll go back around and then back towards the front. And maybe some hair at the back there. So in the other eye, so you want to measure the width of his eye, right? So this eye width will fit in between and his next eye will start there, right? So this eye that's the distance between the two eyes, roughly, okay? And then we do the same sort of thing again, a slender, long, sort of eye line back there. And then it will come back. Underneath and up into his tear duct again. Okay, and then like tear duct in there, and then you can add some like eyelashes. Iris. Just comes down around the inside. Like so, and then you just gotta do your highlights color around dark I 
again if you want you can add just like a white dot is another way doing highlights we will add some eyelashes coming off from the bottom as well here Okay, and then he has an eyelid line. Going across just like a skin fold. Going across his eye. Like that. And then like he's got bags under his eyes, so he's got like light sort of lines coming back this way. And his eyebrows. Going back here. Down the back. Hooks back up. And comes across to the front again. You can make him sort of hairy. Like so. Right, so then we got some lines just on the inside of his nose, right? So we've got like like lines for the inside of his nose here there. just these sort of detail lines on the inside of the nose right and then just the side of his nose kind of just down here and so kind of like he's around like that kind of just a light sort of line there and then we got like a nostril underneath it and a nostril over this side and then we got to darken up the nostrils right so it's like a make them sort of rounder and darker and then join them together with this sort of curved line underneath Right. And then the skin on the outside of the nostrils and they sort of roughly line up with the tear duct, right? So they'll go they'll go sort of out and up to here. I flare out sort of quite a bit now. tip of his nose maybe comes down there a little bit something else on this side and then like the bridge of his nose sort of comes out the side there quite wide like an extra line on the inside of his eye here I think he's got like extra eyelid lines or something like just just here on the inside bridge of his nose as well noses are always tricky especially when you're trying to get it like a real character Okay, but I think that's the best I can do for his nose now. Bags under his eyes and like stuff like that. Right. Okay, so he's smiling, right? So he's got like a smirk sort of sticking up on this side, right? So the edge of his mouth kind of lines up on the inside of the the eye here, right? So like, you just mark it like here, kind of like on, just at his iris there, and like on the, on the iris on this side as well. This one kind of sticks out a little bit further. Okay. Then we join these together, right? So we'll go 
you see it bumping across. Accelerating them, darken up the corners. Right, and then we got his lips then. So he's quite big lips, right? So we go coming out from here. The top lip comes up. And it kind of reminds me of a stretched out letter M, right? That's kind of the shape we're going for. Okay, and then the bottom lip. Around to there, right? And this is like darker. All right, and then we might have like some lines just on the side of his face here, coming down from his nose. And then like a line for his chin here. And if you want, maybe some lip lines and things. Right, and then his chin round enough sort of chin not like just round so a chin here like that right make some lines just do 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 just check and make sure I'm not going too far might be a little bit too wide with that smile line. I'm just gonna fix that. I just want it stopping like underneath his eye. And it is, I think, but it's just a little tiny bit. Just don't wanna go too far with it, you know? Okay, so we go for his jaw, like proportion wise as well. So like eyebrow to the bottom of the nose, about the same as bottom of the nose to the chin. So here to here and here to here are about the same. And then bottom of the nose to like the bottom lip area here, about the same as bottom lip area to chin. So like here to here, like just underneath his bottom lip, about the same as bottom lip to the nostrils there, say. Right, that's about the same. Okay, and then once you get that, we can kind of go for his jaw. So we go up the side of his face here. And then curves, about mouth level starts to curve up, right? Like so. This way and then we have his cheekbones sort of coming in here and it's hard to know so we go maybe he's got some like chin lines kind of here some light ones So these are like his cheekbones sort of coming in here. And then we meet sort of his sideburn, right? But he has a shaved head. So like the sides of his head are just like these light kind of sketchy sort of hairy lines coming up this way, right? And you got this sort of V that's sticking up on the side here. So his ears come out from around the sideburns, right? So it goes out here, kind of in line with his eyes. 
down around to there just below the nose sometimes actually that sort of curved line that we have is drawn in Right, and then the other ear. So we're taking our time now. Checking it as well, just to see if we missed anything or if we need to add anything else. Right, and then ear lines, right? So the easiest way to do an ear line, to start it anyway, you know, it's this sort of letter J sort of thing that just comes down like that. And then you can add more if you need to. And so you just go J. I always think it looks like a letter J anyway. And then we can add more inside. All right, like that. Does have like protruding sort of cheekbones a bit. Round sort of jaw. It's not pointy. Hmm. Right, so hairline then, forehead, right? So normally your forehead and your nose are about the same. So here and here, we'll bring you up roughly to, so like the top of his, say just under the eyebrow, the nose to the top of the nose is about the same size as his forehead, right? And so the forehead here is about the same as this. And then we can do his hairline around, right? So it's kind of like this sketchy sort of bumpy hairy line it just goes around here it's a real shaved head and come like that and I just add some lines for temples of his forehead you know just the side of his skull and then he does have some lines that come across here. I think maybe that's too much. I'll like get rid of some of this. You don't need to add too much because sometimes it can so just like it's just a suggestion that there's like a line there you know you're just adding like tiny little things because they're so smooth you know skin and stuff so you don't need to draw much i think he's like a mole or something here does he nice Okay, so then top of his head, so again, we've got shaved head, but we'll just do it sort of bumpy. And in general, in humans, top of the head, right, is about there. We'll bring it to the middle of his chin. So like eyes to the top of his head, we'll bring it to the middle of his chin, right? Normally eyes are halfway down the head, but just maybe his head is tilted back a little bit. So here to here and here to here about the same. You have a bit of wiggle room there, but that's generally the distance. Mm -hmm. Right. 
this is all sort of, you know, curly and we'll just add some textures maybe on it. All right, and just fix up whatever we need. You know, if you need to make it taller or clean up the outside. Okay, so how does that look? It's not bad. I think it looks like I'm a bit. Right, so his neck, he's quite a wide neck, strong looking guy, right? So we'll go for the just coming down from his jaw here and this side as well. Okay, we're going for the French jersey, right? So, comes out from behind his neck here. Right, and then we have that button area, so it just bumps down this way. There's a button and four dots. And then this goes around his collar again, right? So he's got another part to his collar here. And this has a sort of an edge. Comes around like that. Right, and then this goes around like so. And then another edge to it there. Then we got some like neck muscles inside here. Maybe Adam's apple. And shoulders, right? So male shoulders is a head width, right? So the width of his face, right? Not the ears, his face. would bring out roughly to where his shoulders would be. So you can measure that and mark. It's normally three heads on a male. So you can fit one, two, three heads across the width of his shoulders, okay? And then you can just go out that way. Okay, just carve it down like so. And then we got some details on his jersey. So we got like some edge lines here, like along his shoulder, stitching and things, you know. And then we have the French crest and like the Nike crest and stuff. So we go, we go for the rooster just here. I'll move it up a little bit. It's normally lower down, but I'll just go, I'll add it here, just so we can see some of it. Two stars. I always think of Patrick Starr from SpongeBob. Right, two stars there, and then we have like the rooster's head, right? So we got like a beak. And then it's got its comb. around here and then like the neck it's a roughly drawn in rooster now it's not like anatomically correct or anything and then the big tail just there and then there might be like the Nike symbol just here right, and then we got like another sort of stitching line or something coming down here and across this side as well All right and then you can just thicken up some edge lines tidy some stuff up
Right, but I think that's the best I can do. Kylian Mbappe. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.